paper mache, hot air balloons. From your box, you're going to need to take out your bag that says STEM 5, and inside, you're going to find a cup of flour, a Dixie cup, a balloon, string, and some newspaper. From home, you're going to need two cups of water, a mixing bowl, a spoon, and some scissors. To create our paste, we're going to use our cup of flour, two cups of water, and we're going to mix it all together. So once your paste is done, you're going to set it aside and start cutting your newspaper strips. You want them to be paper length long and about an inch wide. So after you've cut out your newspaper strips, you can go ahead and blow up your balloon. Then you're going to dip your strips that you've cut out into your paste and place it on your balloon. And you want to make sure to cover the whole balloon. For best results, you're going to do about three layers. So once you're done putting on your strips, you can put an extra layer of white paper that you have from home. This will help you when you want to paint your balloon. It should look something like this, and you need to give it quite a few hours to dry. Then you're going to cut four holes on the top of your cup. Cut your long string into four strings um, and attach your four strings to the four holes. Once you've tied on your strings, your basket should look something like this. And if you want to decorate your basket with any markers, feel free. So once your paper mache is dry, you can paint it any color that you like, then set it aside again to dry a second time. And once it does dry, you can yank on the balloon, pop it, let all the air out, and your shape should stay the same. So now that I've painted my paper mache, I've removed my balloon and I've cut my hole, I'm going to attach this basket to my paper mache balloon. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Thanks for making paper mache with me. See you next time.